Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Canada. Welcome to another you guys. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a closet purge or decluttering my closet or trying everything on in my closet. You know, these types of videos. Um, I've been binge watching these types of videos for like the last few weeks. Well, this is inspired by every basic YouTuber out there, but specifically Arden Rose. And I'm sorry about the atrocious lighting, but we're just going to be getting started with my closet. This is where I keep all of my clothes, basically. On the top, we have every single top that I own. This stuff doesn't count the clothes that is currently laid over my desk right now. And I also have probably about like 20 tops downstairs um, hanging up, but I'm going to be bringing those up later. I have all of the pants that I own, not shorts, just like pants, long pants. And then and I have like a thing from Walmart with the three drawers and it's just like shirts that I don't wear and pajamas. <laughs> I also have like a mini dresser that I keep my socks and underwear in, my sentimental clothes, my um, jean shorts and athletic shorts, my basketball shorts, and my bras and basketball socks and pajama bottoms. I don't really wear pants to bed, I'm sorry, I just really don't. Guys, I opened my window back up so the natural light is back. I'm sorry that I look like a ghost in that. It looks like I haven't seen the sun. It's the last revolution around the earth, but it's alright. It was like half sentimental, half I need it still. Here are some bathing suits. This hasn't fit me since I was probably five. This just really ain't my thing. Certain things I know aren't my like thing. I know that I don't like them, so I'm not going to try every single thing on. I'm only going to try the things that I'm like on the fence about. This is like this white shirt from Old Navy. It's like a tank top and it has like few flower details. I just don't really like it. I don't like white shirts and it's super see-through, so I'm gonna donate this. It literally still has a tag on it. I'm going to make a huge pile on my bed for sentimental clothes because I just want to get a big bin and just put it like on the top of my closet where I have a shelf so it could just be out of my way and I could, you know, stop clouding my judgment. Okay, holy sentimental for this drawer. Um, this is a shirt that I wore like three years in a row on my birthday. This is the shirt I was wearing when I first got my braces on. Here's my fifth grade field day shirt, t-ball shirt. My elementary school like shirt. Just look at this shirt. This is my mom's shirt when she was like seven, I think. And I wore this for years straight. Sometimes I wore it like out of the house. Um, it, there's so many holes in it. And then for like more years, for like two or three more years straight, I wore it like every day to go to bed. It's so soft, it's so comfortable, but as you guys can see it doesn't really fit, but it's so sentimental to me. These are nice leggings, but they're just really too short on me. And like, I can't wear the as capris because they're like wide at the end. I don't know, it just kind of looks weird, so I'm just gonna donate these. These are my only pair of capri leggings, so I'm going to be keeping these. And the rest of my leggings are in the wash, but they all, like, I wear them regularly, so I know that I'm gonna keep them. These are yoga pants. With like the wide, like, bell bottom bottom. Bell, bell bottoms? I don't know what you call them, but I'm not even gonna wear these. This the hanger is just full of like pajama pants if I ever do decide to wear them. These pants are sentimental. I used to wear them all the time and I used to wear them to ice skating. And my friend even cut a hole in them, so I just love these pants and I wear these men. Alright, now we're moving on to old jeans. These are jeans from Kohl's. They are not jeggings and they are like really rough, so that's why I never wore them, but they are in perfect condition. I wore them like one time. These jeans are Arizona jeans, but they are boot cut and I'm not feeling boot cut jeans. I have not felt boot cut jeans since like the third grade. Again, same things with these. These are from Kohl's. Never, I've probably worn them once, but they are just like a rough material that I'm, they're not comfortable, so donate. These are some sweatpants. I've worn them a few times, but probably not since the fourth grade. Boot cut jeans, don't fit, never gonna wear them, donate. Same thing. I just don't really dig them because there's no like band up here, so they just kind of fall off. Okay, there's a like huge mess in the bottom of my closet where all these pants were, so I'm gonna clean that up and then I'll get back to you guys. Um, I'm gonna do the other side of my closet and then clean the bottom of that side while my camera battery's charging. I just recently went through these. These are all my non-ripped jeans and these all fit and I wear them, so. Same thing with these except they are my ripped jeans. These are my sweatpants. I do have way more, but there's in the wash. Okay, what do we have here? We have a bunch of sweatpants, and pajamas and stuff. Um, but these butterfly ones are very sentimental, so I'll keep these and donate the rest. Here we have some more sweatpants. These are just some joggers. 
These are actually low-key dope. I'm gonna try these on. I have no clue where these are from. They look like my 50-year-old aunt would wear them for yoga. So don't. Okay, so I put these joggers on and they actually fit like really comfortable and they're super soft. I don't remember ever buying these, but it would probably be around in the fifth grade, but they're so comfortable, so I'm going to add them to my sweatpants rack. And now I'm going to start cleaning the bottom of both sides of my closet. Okay guys, and I'm back, and since I last talked to you guys, what I did was clean out the bottom, so now it's pretty clean. And I went through my sentimental drawer, like my full drawer worth the sentimental stuff, I put that in its own pile. Then I, rent, I went through like my old pajama shorts, athletic shorts, so I put all those in the donate pile that I didn't want anymore, so look of what everything looks like right now. Oh, also I had clothes that were on my desk that were just like kind of thrown on there. I folded them nicely, got them ready to hang up. This in the sentimental drawer, but like I feel like it could fit me, so I just tried it on. And it's just, just like quarter zip um, Boston Red Sox like sweatshirt. I feel like if I just iron this, I could get a few more uses out of it. Like we're gonna move on to the tops now. To start it off, I'm going to stand on the stool here that I have and just take out a bunch of stuff that I have on this left side because past here my closet goes on for about like two and a half feet. These hangers suck. Alright, so this is like just some sentimental stuff. I love this coat. I lost it for like three years and by the time I finally found it, it didn't fit, but I still love it. This is again another sentimental sweatshirt and this is my Nature Me shirt. Nobody thinks. Alright, what am I supposed to call it? Here's this dress from Old Navy. I'm really on the fence about this, so I'm gonna try it on. So now we're just gonna move on to like some tank top type stuff here. So I have this one from Old Navy. I really like this. Um, this tie-dye one, I haven't even worn it yet, but I think I'm gonna wear it. If I don't wear it by the summer, then I'm going to get rid of it. Here's an American flag one, pretty for the 4th of July. I really like this black one, this white and pink one, and this red socks one. Here is this like jersey thing. It has my name on the back, so I can't really just like donate it, but I'll just keep it in a different area. Here are two college shirts. One's UConn, one's Alabama. They're a little bit too small and immature. They're too small to wear to basketball, but too immature to wear like out, so I'm just gonna donate them. Moving on to more tank tops. These tank tops are mostly off from Old Navy, if you're wondering. This is a plain gray one. Here's like a white one with flowers. Um, I don't like white. I haven't worn this yet. Literally still has a tag on it. Here's this black and um, like black and white with like yellow accents. I really like this one. This one is just the same as the gray, but just all blue. And this one, I don't even know where this is from. I'm not gonna wear it, so I'll just donate it. Here's some Tanner Braungart merch. Um, I'm gonna keep it for like one more year. And if I don't get much use out of it, I'll give it away. Florida Gators shirt. Um, again, it's kind of like those other college ones. Um, so we're gonna get rid of it. This is an Adam L Z one. I'm gonna try this one. This is International Club for my school, so I have to keep it. And I just like this design of this Nike one. Here's this awesome Vineyard Vines. Um, my clothes are so packed together that they make my hung up shirts wrinkly. Like, that's terrible. It's like this off the shoulder top from H&M, I really like it. Here's this t-shirt. Um, again, I, it's just, I just really like it because it's like merch. And um, I obviously like spent my money and bought it. The only reason why I don't wear it that often is because it is like lightweight. And like tight even though it's kind of my size so I'm gonna keep it again if I don't get much use of it then I will give it away. This black and white striped shirt from Old Navy. I have so many black and white striped shirts that like and this one's kind of not really doing much for me it's too big I probably should have got should have gotten it in a size smaller so I'll just give this away but it's super soft and a great material I really like it. Batch of shirts here is just a pink crab whale vineyard vine shirt I really like this one. Here's like a like blush pink shirt from um, H&M. It was pretty cheap and I just like it. It's a um, van shirt I got from Tilly's and it's like ombre. This is um, plain basic shirt from Old Navy but I need it for an outfit. And then here's a city shirt I need to keep. This is kind of like a fancy shirt. I don't know if this fits me but my mom told me to keep it. I tried it on not too long ago. Here's this flannel um, from American Eagle. I literally, the tag is still on it. And I've had this for probably like two years now. I'm never gonna wear it, so I'll just donate it. Here is this like yellow crew neck from Old Navy. Um, and it has like an anchor on it. It's just kind of too weird. I'm not really liking the vibe I'm getting from it, so I'm just gonna donate it. I just want to let you guys know that I've 
gave up on like taking everything out because it's no point because I know some of the stuff I'm keeping. This is like just a basic tee from H&M. Um, I like it so I'm keeping it. This shirt, um, I just have a perfect outfit and vision with it so yeah. Even though it's not really my style, I just like it. Um, I'm going to be doing something different with organizing my basketball shorts shirt so I'm going to keep this away. Just like this green zip up hoodie from Old Navy. It's just kind of too plain, not really flattering, and I don't really have anything to wear it with. So I'm kind of swallowed up in it, so I'll just give it away. It's um, Bruins sweatshirt, but I don't like it because it is too tight for me on the bottom, like the band part. Allie, do you want this? Just this black um, and gray like Under Armour sweatshirt. I've had this for a long time now. I think I've gotten enough use out of it, I'm going to give it away. Weird black top from the I have yet to wear this, guys, and it like the idea of it. I love the idea of this shirt, but it just doesn't look good on me. Like I don't know. This is like a size smaller than I usually wear. It's still big. It's just it's not. It's not doing anything for me. Here's a Tommy Hilfiger shirt. I really like this one. Um, just a tip for you guys. If you guys do like Tommy Hilfiger, and you can go to Old Navy. They have a lot of stuff for sale. Like I got this for really cheap. Here's this pink sweatshirt. I don't know if I'm really feeling the color anymore. I've had this for a while. I think I got my use out of it. It's going away. Here's another one of those like basic um, H&M tees that I have in maroon. I really like these. I need to get them. You're gonna do something. You're all here to play around again. Straighten up this room. Get rid of the water bottle. Please, don't use paint. This is disgusting. Come on, fish. Here's another um, tank top from, H uh, from Old Navy. Keep. And these two shirts are from Old Navy as well. Here's just a black plain tank top. I and eh, too plain. Here's this like crew neck. Um, it's kind of too see-through for me, and the, the the design is just subpar. Here's this um, Nike sweatshirt. It is kind of too big. I got it for my birthday last year. I wore it a few times, but just not really my style anymore. I'm going to donate this to my brother. Here's another dress from Old Navy. It has a similar cut to that other one that I tried on. Not really flattering. This like black Adidas zip up. Um, I don't like the way this fits on me, and it's just kind of too plain. So I'm gonna do it. All right, guys, we're back with the last batch of shirts here, and then we're gonna organize everything, and I'll show you guys like the finalized piles and stuff. Here is just my middle school basketball shirt. It looks like a planet, but I'm gonna keep it. Here is this um, black dog sweatshirt. I really haven't worn it in a while. All right, guys, I just feel like it kind of fits me weird. Like the length is kind of short-ish. Not short, but like weird. Like the pockets are just like right here. Like they're no, no, I don't know. And I hate the sleeves because the cuffs, like they got stretched out and they don't like, they're just not like cuffed anymore. I don't like it, so donate. Another like just zip up sweatshirt. This is from my uh, to like George for vacation. Don't really like it. I'm gonna donate. Here is the last item that we're going to decide whether to donate or not. Actually, just oh my god, I forgot about all the clothes that I have downstairs. This coat actually fits me really well, even though it's really short on the arms. I actually really like it um, for like playing in the snow or like snow tubing or something. So I'm going to be keeping it. I am back. Um, I hope you guys really are enjoying this video because I haven't edited it yet, but just imagining it, it's going to take me a long while. This video is probably going to be very long because I still have a lot of things to do. So we're probably around halfway through the video. I'm going to tell you guys what we need to do. So I just brought in all the, cl the clothes from downstairs that was hanging up. I need to get a box to put all my sentimental clothes in so I can sort up top up here. I don't know if you guys can see it, I don't think so, but there's a shelf on the top of my um, closet that is holding like blankets and like stuff for my bed. I'm going to get rid of half of that because I never use it. I'm going to be putting a box with that sentimental stuff in there and then putting all the blankets that I actually do use. With my basketball shirt shirts, I'm going to be folding them Marie Kondo style and putting them in my drawer, so I'll probably do a time lapse of that. All right, we're gonna just pick up right where we left off. Here we have this Yukon sweatshirt. I'm going to be keeping this. We have this Nike um, windbreaker. Do like this. I don't wear it enough, but I'm going to start wearing it more. We do have this um, Bruins hockey shirt. I think I've gotten enough use out of this that I'm going to give it away. Um, I might give it to my friend, but she's not on with me on FaceTime anymore, so. And then we do have this Samica Vlogs merch I will keep. Here we have this Under Armour um, top. It's like pretty, looks pretty simple, and on the bottom has like a little pop of color. I'm going to be keeping it. Here we have this Revive, I mean Reven. What is it called? Revive 
Skateboards hoodie, we'll keep that. Here is a Red Sox shirt. This is for basketball, and this is also, I wear for basketball. This is this nice, um, start shirt from Navy. It doesn't need to be ironed. And then this long sleeve shirt, keeping both of these. Two tie-dye shirts. Um, this one I bought from Old Navy. It is see-through, so I'm going to be giving it away. This I made, I'm just going to use it as pajamas. This shirt is just a really good, like, staple white, um, long sleeve that I just wear under stuff like sweatshirts or something if it's really cold. And this is another striped shirt from Old Navy. It has a stain on the back, but I'm not going to be keeping this. This is a basketball tee. This is like a really baggy sweatshirt from Old Navy. Um, I don't really know what to do with this. I kind of wear it as like pajamas like around the, the house stuff, but I already have enough clothes for that, so I'm just going to be giving this away. Basketball shirt. Here's this really nice Tommy Hilfiger like white long sleeve shirt. I got this for Christmas and I really love it. So that is all of the clothes that I own that is not in the wash right now. In the wash I do have a lot of my leggings and that's about it. Because I wore leggings a lot last week because I was exhausted so I just wore like leggings and slippers every day. So now what I'm going to be doing is organizing the rest of my hangers, taking out my pajama shirts, um, and organizing those Marie Kondo style and hopefully that will give me enough practice so I could then organize a new drawer for my basketball shirt. I forget what time I started this but it's been a while because I don't have any more natural light because it's dark out. So I'm going to show you all the piles for donation. I've done a lot of stuff and I'm going to save that for like the last part of the video, which is a reveal. I just wanted to show you guys like the piles. So here we have like sweatshirts or crewnecks um, and then one pajama top, but this is like the warm pile. This is donation, guys, I'm talking. Um, here we have a lot of jeans, pants, leggings, pajama pants, and shorts on the bottom. And then here are all the tops that I'm donating. So a good amount of stuff. I also have a bathing suit, a backpack, and then two dresses here. Oh my. Sentimental stuff. Yeah, yes, I know I probably don't need it, but it's whatever. I'm gonna go get some trash bags and separate all these clothes. What are you putting there, Kim? Close the door, mate! You're gonna put the shit the new shirt there because you don't wanna wear. What do you mean? I put stuff that I don't wear. Alright, guys, it is many hours later, and I'm going to be showing you guys like the final reveal and the and tell you guys what I did with everything and show you what I've done the past few hours of my whole entire life. You know? well, we're going to be starting with my closet here. Here is the light that we could use. And voila! Oh, yeah. Let me show you guys. You guys can tell like the hangers get very like farther apart when it gets to, like hoodies and stuff. Before we go into the top, I do want to show you guys the bottom of the closet. Here we just have a hat and my um, Ugg scarf will go there too. In this drawer we have pajamas, I have my city t-shirts. Here we have an empty drawer which I'm going to be putting like probably two camis in and like an extra shirt. Here we have my leggings. There will be a lot more on this hanger, but they're just in the wash. Um, same thing for these sweatpants. And then lastly in the back there, it's hard to see, but those are like pajama pants and stuff. Side. We have non-ripped jeans, we have ripped jeans, and um, in the back there is like long sleeve shirts that I don't really wear that often, but I'm still going to keep. All right, and back there we have a few dresses and then a lot of tank tops. They are put in rainbow order to the best of my abilities. So it ends with a gray color and then begins my t-shirts. My t-shirts start with red and they go to like pinks and orange, yellow, green blue like purples blacks grays to whites and then right here is my long sleeve start and then end about right here connects till about right here and then starting with white then to like grays blacks blues we have my hoodies I'm really happy with how this turned out organization wise but it is just hard, like, if I wanted to wear that Nike pink sweater, I would have to stand up on the stool, like, every morning to figure out what I have, like, what are my options and stuff. So I do wish I had a walk-in closet, but clearly with the amount of space here, that is not available. That is not an option. Just two, like, overnight bags. There's going to be a third added up there, but I just want to figure out how to fold it. I'll do that some other day. Here we have a pillowcase and extra um, bed sheets. And those are, like, old pictures. I don't even know. I'm going to try to go like this. Try and see what it is. So, yeah. 
So in this box we do have like my sentimental clothes um, in here. And this is a 66 quart um, like thing that you could like put under your bed. Here we have just underwear and socks. So yeah, a lot of no-show socks in here and whatnot. Like your pros too, everything. Here are my shorts. These aren't in, in these aren't in anyone's like particular like style, but there's bathing suits, shorts here, green shorts here, and there's some basketball shorts. And then underneath are like regular short shorts to wear in the summer. My favorite drawer this whole video. Um, so yeah, this is all my basketball like workout um, shirts and stuff. And they are all organized very nicely. Here's actually a jersey. These are two jerseys. This is a practice jersey. This is a warm-up shirt. But yeah, the rest are just like workout shirts and I love it. Here are some hangers. Here are some hangers. And here is the mother load of hangers. Yeah, overall in this video, I learned that I had a lot of stuff that I just didn't really use, didn't really need. So guys, as I was filming my outro, I completely forgot that I didn't even show you guys the finished donation pile. I'm full of pants and it's just all the jeans and leggings and sweatpants and shorts and all the stuff that I show you. Here we have sweaters, so it ranges from sweatshirts to crewnecks to like a pajama, like warm sweater. We have shirts and there is dresses. There's two dresses and some bathing suits and a backpack as well. But this is all like three trash bags full of stuff that I donated. And I showed it to my friend. She said, how'd that all fit in your closet? And I still have. But with that being said, though, thank you guys all for watching. See you guys next time.